टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द माइक्रोवेव स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक टेक्निक्स दैट डील विथ केमिस्ट्री नाउ व्हाट इज माइक्रोवेव माइक्रोवेव इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज 3 इंटू टेन टू दी पॉवर टेन टू थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पॉवर ट्वेल्व हार्च दैट इज This is the frequency range 3 into 10 to the power 10 hertz to 3 into 10 to the power 12 hertz. That is, it has the wavelength around 1 semi to 100 micrometer. That is, the wavelength is is much bigger than the visible radiation. That's why the microwave radiation is invisible to human eye. If the wave in the visible region is like that now the microwave radiation you see this is much bigger in wavelength than the visible radiation this is visible and it is microwave due to its bigger wavelength it is associated with much less energy compared to the visible radiation visible radiation is effective in exciting an electron in its atomic orbital or molecular orbital that is absorbing visible radiation an electron can undergo transition from lower energy level to higher energy level in an atom or in a molecule since microwave radiation is comprised of much less energy it is not applicable in exciting an electron in its atomic or molecular level it is only concerned with the rotation of molecules that is absorbing this microwave radiation a molecule can undergo transition to its higher rotational level what does it mean it means that absorbing this radiation a molecule can undergo rotation faster than before that is if a molecule is at rest absorbing this microwave radiation it can start rotate start to rotate or if a molecule rotates slowly and it is irradiated with this microwave radiation it rotates faster than before absorbing this radiation suppose this is a diatomic molecule and it rotates just like that slowly while irradiated with microwave radiation it can start to rotate faster that is now it's fast moving molecule now what happen when microwave radiation is irradiated or how a molecule can absorb the microwave radiation can all the molecules absorb microwave radiation let's see condition to be microwave active microwave active means absorbing microwave radiation a molecule can change its rotation are all the molecules microwave active the answer is no to be microwave active that is to absorb microwave radiation to change its rotation the molecule must have permanent dipole moment the permanent dipole moment means that a molecule by birth that is it must have a dipole moment which is not induced moment i want to give you an example of hydrogen chloride molecule the hydrogen chloride molecule is a diatomic molecule this is hydrogen chloride the chlorine atom bears the net negative charge because it is electronegative delta negative because it attracts most of the electrons bonded electrons towards itself hence it is delta minus charged and the electrons goes away from the hydrogen atom and hence it is it bears the positive charge the two poles are generated positive pole and negative pole pole hence it is called a polar molecule 
this type of molecules has permanent dipole moment this is called permanent dipole moment because due to its polarity it has a non non zero mu value mu equals to dipole moment permanent dipole moment e into d e is the charge separation and d is the distance between the two poles and, so, and there is charge separation and the distance between two poles arises hence mu is non zero value that is it has permanent dipole moment therefore it is microwave active it can absorb microwave to change its rotation in case of homonuclear molecules suppose h2 it is homonuclear or cl2 it is also homonuclear to same type of nuclei now the bonded electrons resides where it resides in the middle of the two hydrogen atom because both have same quality of attractions hence it is non polar and similarly cl2 is also non polar that is they have no dipole moment no permanent moment hence it cannot absorb microwave radiation and therefore microwave inactive in fact all homonuclear molecules are microwave inactive due to lack of its dipole moment but heteronuclear molecules having different type of nuclei may be polar may be sometime polar or may be non polar suppose carbon dioxide co2 it is heteronuclear triatomic molecule linear the oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and it bears the negative charge the carbon delta positive the two dipoles two vectors this way carbon to oxygen and this vector this bond vector this way the two bond vectors rises the two bond bond vectors are at 180 degree apart hence they cancel they neutralize each other and the net moment is zero the bond moment arises but because of the two vectors at 180 degree the net moment is zero that is it is also non polar though it has hetero nuclei hence lack of dipole moment due to lack of dipole moment it is also microwave inactive that is it cannot change its rotation absorbing microwave radiation hence it is clear to you that the molecules having permanent dipole moment like hcl are microwave active now why what is the relationship between dipole moment and the microwave why the molecules having permanent dipole moment absorb microwave radiation let's see hcl we may write as the dipole is directed towards the cl the most electronegative atom during rotation that is during rotation the dipole changes suppose this is acl h and this here is cl during rotation after 90 degree the cl atom goes here and the h atom goes here hence it looks like again during rotation cl atom goes to the top and h goes to the bottom again the direction of dipole changes if we plot like this this here time axis and this here vertical component of dipole this here below the dipole directed towards below so this here after some time it is this after some time and again at this hence if we 
go through these points. It looks like radiation. Therefore, it interacts with the microwave radiation. Because this fluctuation is similar to the electric fluctuating electric field of microwave radiation. Thus, interaction can occur and the energy can be absorbed. And the rotation gives rise to a spectrum. Therefore, all molecules having permanent dipole moment are said to be microwave active. If there is no dipole, as in hydrogen or Cl2, no interaction can take place and the molecule is microwave inactive. This is the condition to be microwave active. Microwave ovary. One area where microwave radiation has become very familiar in the recent years is the kitchen in the shape of microwave oven. Now what happens in the microwave oven? If we take some food and place it in a microwave oven or micro oven and switch it on, the food molecules are bombarded with microwaves. In fact, it is the water molecules which absorb the radiation, that is microwave radiation, and become raised into the higher rotational states. The water molecules are microwave active because they have permanent dipole moment. Let us see. This is water molecule having two lone pairs. Now the oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, hence the vector, bond vector is directed towards the oxygen atom also this and the vectors the moment due to lone pairs also directed towards the lone pairs since the lone pairs are not under the control of any other atoms they are almost free and they are the, they are not shared by the other atoms hence the uh, moment due to lone pairs are directed towards them. Therefore, all of the moments are directed towards up and hence they cannot cancel each other. The net moment has a non-zero value, that is it is polar molecule. Therefore, water has permanent dipole moment and it is microwave active. Hence, it absorbs microwave radiations residing in the foodstuff molecules and changes its rotation. That is, absorbing this microwave radiation, they are in the higher rotational levels and it is rotationally excited. But in the excited state, they are unstable. Hence, they try to emit its excess energy. As with many other excited states, the excess rotational energy of the water, water molecules is re-emitted as heat and the food becomes cooked. In fact, the heating is internal. In an oven, in a conventional oven, a piece of meat or cake is heated from the outside and it must be left to cook until its center has been raised to a sufficiently high temperature. In microwave heating, however, water molecules throughout the whole bulk of the food are simultaneously excited and heated, that is cooking times are drastically reduced. The biological molecules in the food are far large and they are not able to rotate. Therefore, while preparing the food in the micro oven, we have to remember that the presence of water is essential because it is the water molecule which are excited rotationally and help to cook the food internally. The effect of such microwave radiation on the human body is similar. Whatever is exposed to the radiation is rapidly heated and cooked from the inside. 
It is essential therefore to ensure the door seal on the microwave is in good condition so that no radiation is allowed to leak out. Therefore, we have to remember about the microwave oven that is it must be leaked proof condition. If our hand or skin is exposed to the microwave radiation, it is cooked internally, whatever as in the food. If we use leak proof oven, it is 100% safe and no harmful radiation remains there in the food and hence the cook and hence the food prepared from the microwave oven is 100% safe to eat. There are some rumors in our society that microwave oven is unsafe. The cooked food prepared from the oven contains some radioactive radiation. It is rumors. It is not true. It is quite safe to use if it is in leak proof condition. And since the uh, food prepared from internally cooked, it is easily digested and the cooking time is also reduced. Hence, you may cook in short time. But we have to remember that the presence of water molecule is essential while preparing the food in the microwave oven. Therefore, vegetables can be boiled, rice can be boiled, but any foodstuff cannot be fried because water molecule is essential in the microwave oven. That's all. It is the introductory episode of microwave spectroscopy. We have learned already about the microwave radiation and its utility. We shall continue our discussion in detail in this topic in our next episodes. Thank you.